Hello everyone, this is Tim. It is Tuesday, February the 16th, and I am recording in a Quality Inn in Orlando, Florida. I left Friday morning from my home in central Arizona, rented a car, and drove here. And um, quite an interesting drive. Um, never driven through Texas before, at least the entire state. And um, it's big. It's like uh, across the border at El Paso coming out of New Mexico. And one of the first signs I see is Beaumont, like 900 plus miles away and I'm like no no and yeah uh, it was that long of a drive and um, I always thought it was hot in southern Texas I mean not too far from the border of Mexico but much to my chagrin I encountered uh, about 200 miles of freezing fog wind and black ice, sometimes all three of them at the same time. Uh, but I made it to Florida in one piece and um, got here late Sunday night. And I'm here for the uh, Hexakin meetup, which is tomorrow. And um, spent all day yesterday or much of the day uh, with uh, someone who goes by the name of Nardo for the win on Twitter. He's a hexagon who makes videos from time to time and posts them on Twitter. And uh, he works for an auto body shop. And we just had a lot to talk about. He's from Ohio. I'm originally from Pennsylvania. And one of the recent uh, cars that came into his shop happens to be uh, what I consider one of the best cars of all time. That's a 57 Chevy. So I was asking him about the availability of that car upon its uh, restoration. So it was a good day. And uh, he came down with his mother and stepfather. So the four of us just walked around um, this uh it was like a outlet center Disney uh, themed. It's part of the whole Disney World stuff down here. So we walked around. We did some shopping. We all we had lunch together. It was really great. And um, and then uh, when I got here, I only um, got a hotel room for uh, Sunday night and Monday night and. Wasn't sure what I was going to do for tonight and tomorrow night because of um, the prospect of sharing a room with somebody. But as it turned out, one of the other people that was expecting to be here, a guy that goes by the name of Freddie Quotes on Twitter, um, he's also the man who wrote the what is known as the Hex Anthem. It's a song that he wrote. He's also made some appearances on Joe Hexotic's Sunday morning service. Anyway, he was originally planning to be here, but had to cancel at the last minute. And he essentially gave me his hotel room for free. So I have free lodging tonight and tomorrow night. And this room is beautiful, just uh, very bright, very clean. Um, nice big full size, king size bed. It's great so just got back from eating lunch and since I don't have anything planned for this afternoon I thought I'd make a video documenting my what is now my second retirement road trip um, like I said uh, weather kind of prevented me from doing any recording uh, prior to today so anyway I'm here and uh, looking forward to our gathering tomorrow at Epcot. 
never been to Epcot before, never been to Florida before, so it's it's been fun. Florida is a beautiful place. It's warm, breezy, at least today. Um, Nardo had lived here previously and was telling me some of the perks of living here. And even though that sounded enticing, um, it's there's too many people, too much activity, too much traffic for me. I don't think I'd be very happy uh, living here, at least in the Orlando area. It's just too, too busy. Um, I'm happy in Arizona. Um, I mean, I grew up in Pennsylvania, then I moved to Arizona, then I moved back to Pennsylvania, then I moved to New Mexico, then I moved back to Pennsylvania, then I moved back to New Mexico, and then I moved back to Arizona. And um, mind you, each of those moves were the result of some life-defining experience for me. Uh, I'm not a fugitive. I'm, I'm not a drifter. Um, just I needed to move around a lot to get to where I am in life, where I am now. So um, I don't plan on permanently uprooting my life anymore. And as a token of that, right before I left for this trip, um, I drove by a property and I noticed that it was for sale and didn't think much of it because um, at, at first I thought it was just a house that was for sale. But it's the house is adjacent to a restaurant that is presently closed. But when it was open about a year or so ago, I remember eating there on one occasion. It was really good. And... Um, when I drove past this property again at another time, I noticed that there was another for sale sign on the other side of the restaurant. So I figured the house and the restaurant were part of the same uh, property. So um, several days after that, it just came upon me to just look into it because um, for a long time now when people have tasted my cooking I've been told on numerous occasions that wow this is really good you should consider starting a restaurant and I remember when I first started working for um, my previous employer who I actually do work for part-time but it's different relationships so anyway when I first started working for her about five years ago, I remember telling her that um, you know, I, I would like to start a restaurant. I wouldn't want to, I'm not that interested in doing construction forever. So um, just one of those things that uh, has been resonating with me for many, many years now. And now all of a sudden there's this property for sale that has a house and a restaurant. So I ended up calling the realtor couple days before leaving for this trip and he explained to me um, what was for sale turns out the man that owns the property with the house and the restaurant also owns a second lot that is adjacent to this lot and he said that is also up for sale because the owner wants to just be done you know, he's retired, he's divorced, he wants to take the money and run. So we met up and I took a tour of the property and I was just, it just almost seems too good to be true. And he told me, you know, the two properties are available separately, but he said, you know, if you buy both of them, then this is the price. And um, the second property has a residence and a commercial building that has two retail stores in it and then on the back side of that property is a campground that is set up for five rvs 
and all of these buildings are occupied except for the restaurant. So um, whoever ends up buying this property is not only getting four acres, but they're also getting eight paying tenants with it. So the property will literally pay for itself. It's just a matter of getting into it. So I told the realtor that, you know, I'm taking a trip to Orlando tomorrow. And um, when I get back, I have to get with my accountant for tax purposes. And after I know where I am with that, that I want to sit down with him and the property owner and see what it's going to take for me to get into this because it's like, this is, it just is fitting. It just seems like this is perfect for me. So um, we'll see what happens, but um, Hex needs to pump a lot. I mean, if you look at the price chart, the price of Hex is seesawing. It keeps going up and then it comes back down. And um, what it looks like we're finding support at a penny, which is good. Um, but now, now we need to pump big time. It's not just a matter of, you know, you know, check out the size of my bags. It's like, no, I, I want to make a real purchase here. So we'll see. So anyway, um, overall things are just going really good. And when I was taking a tour of this property, the owner happened to be home and, um, the, the realtor asked me, well, he's like, well, do you have any questions about, you know, anything? And I said, yeah, I have only, only have one question. And that is, what is the quality of the internet? Because where I live now, I live out in the canyon five miles outside of town. And I basically live off grid. So um, the only internet service I can get right now is a satellite service that is not capable of providing me with the option to do live streaming on YouTube or DLive or Twitch or anything because of the distance that their satellite is up in the atmosphere. Um, all they can do is provide me with something that will allow me to watch video. So when I first moved onto this property, that was sufficient, but now since the Hex community has uh, become as big as it has. Um, you know, if I want to participate in that, which I do, uh, I need to upgrade. So that means moving. Um, so uh, the homeowner is like, oh, yeah, we have cable one and it's great. He told me his two kids, they're they're online all the time playing games and talking to their friends on Zoom and stuff. So. I said, that works, I'm sold, I'll take it. So we'll see uh, when I get back. But one of the things I really like about the house itself is um, the homeowner had partitioned off part of the living room, dining room area. So when you walk in the back door, instead of walking into the living room, you walk into a, sh a hallway that has another entrance door into the dining room area and then you walk and you open a door and he partitioned part of the living room off to make an office and that's where the fireplace is for the living room so the office has the fireplace and that's always something that i wanted in a house is to have an office with a fireplace so that's just one more one more ding, one more perk. And um, so, uh, looking forward to getting home. What can I say? And, um, you know, I'm sure tomorrow is just going to be an awesome meetup. Uh, maybe if some more of the guys get here early enough today, uh, maybe we can do something tonight. But we'll find out later tonight. Uh, so that's it for now. Uh, I hope all of you are doing well. And, um, 
we'll talk soon. Maybe I'll make another video while I'm out here on the road. There's quite a few people I want to visit on my way home, including two of my classmates, which is really nice. They both live along the coast in different states, so um, I already talked to them and set that up, so that should work out. And then there's another hexagon uh, along the way that I'm going to meet up with, too. And I'm sure the weather will be a little bit better getting home. So until then, you all have a good day, and I'll talk to you soon.